want to get to know you a little bit better. Tell us how you you came uh, to Australia from the UK where you had a wildly yes. successful radio program. Yeah, I moved here almost two years ago. And I've got to say, uh, me and my family, that's uh, my wife and I and our uh, German shepherd dog and two teenage daughters. We've already in almost right two order? years. <laughs> uh, yes, it is in my mind, yeah. Okay. Uh, don't worry, they, they, they can't hear this right now. Uh, this is true, yeah, um, yeah. But uh, we've already been over to Perth twice. We love yeah. it. We love Margaret River. We've been over to Margaret River oh, Way and yes. Bustleton and yep. around there and Fremantle. And, of course, being a pond, we did the uh, the prison tour as well. So mm. we're lucky to call this home. Yeah. So what made you do that, Christian, to move to Australia? Uh, I was escaping a big uh, front page scandal um, I have four different wives on the go Fred no I've always loved Australia and I've uh, been here a couple of times on holiday and a uh, big fan of Australian radio going back to Martin Malloy mm-hmm. and uh, got to know Hamish and Andy over the last couple of years and cool. did a few things with them and uh, you reach that point in your life where you think has all the exciting things already happened and I was offered a job out here and uh, even though I was terrified, I, I felt like I couldn't say no. I thought it'd be a great experience and a, and a great uh, experience for moment to bring my kids out here. But you had a great reputation in Britain, that's for sure. Yeah, that no. didn't mean anything when you uh, <laughs> moved the other side of the world. That well. buys you nothing. And as I found out, it felt like I was a cricketer at the stump of the ashes. <laughs> the sledging went on for months. Uh-huh. It was it was full yeah. on. But-